Hey guys, it's Anthony, and today I got some uh, parts in, and I'm going to be upgrading my server. I have uh, two processors. They're the Intel Xeon X5560, uh, two of them, which I think it's uh, 2.8 gigahertz, um, 16 threads, 8 cores, total combined between the two. I have my uh, Dell... R610 power edge 610 uh, this is my other server it's a 1U I'm gonna be doing a review on this one shortly so let me just uh, pop it open and you can get right in there now one thing I do like about these servers they got usually like little pretty little easy lap to get open Get the front cover off I got two CPUs so I guess this more or less could be like an installation video of how you would go about removing the uh, filter lock things and go about putting the new ones in. So as you can see, it's just uh, blank right here. This one did not at any time have two CPUs in it. So usually it'll have this little black filter uh, for where the fan goes. And then you just lift up the left, well rather the two, um, uh, CPU heatsink holders, and usually it'll have this little Dell uh, filter thing that covers all the RAM port slots and the uh, CPU slot as well. So we're just gonna remove the tension lever, and then that just comes right up. It'll wobbly right there. And let me just get the CPU. So as you can see, there's a little notch right there, and there's another corresponding notch on the CPU. So let me just flip that around. There you go, and there you go. So let me just slide that in there. All right, I got it in there. You just want to jiggle it once you put it in there. You put this cover down, and then let's see if this is the same. Nope, looks like yeah. Looks like this comes off. Okay, there we go. Yep, it just pops right off. You just pull back. Now it'll close. And don't and don't uh, worry if this is really hard to push down. It'll probably most likely be like that. Usually you're putting a lot of pressure to keep this CPU secure. Next thing I got the heatsink which has a thermal pad on it already, which I'm just going to use for now because I have a uh, big old tube of uh, Arctic Silver heatsink compound coming, but it's not here yet. You know, packages and all that stuff works. So as you can see, there's this little uh, notch right here and right here, and that corresponds with that corner and uh, that, that corner right there. So you just put this on like that. Make sure it's on there good. Make sure you got like some, you can feel that's on the CPU, some wiggling all around. And then you put the first CPU heatsink uh, arm on, retention arm, and then the second one. And then you make sure that that's on there pretty good and it's not wiggling or anything like that, which it isn't. Um, over here I have four things of four gig uh, RAM modules, which I'm going to have to take at least two out. Now usually you're supposed to put it in like series of three, but I don't have the other two uh, four gig sticks yet as well. So I'm just going to put them in. Uh, let's see here. I think if you look on the back of the cover, yep, let me get that out. If you look on the back of the cover right here, it shows you which uh, slots to put it in. So as you can see right there. There's A1, A2, A3, B3, B2, B1. So I'm going to want to put these in B1 and B2. So this white one just right over here are B1 and 2. And then let me get my RAM right here. Line the ports, uh, the little hole with the notch. 
and push it in. I'll do the same on the other one. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to have to do is get the fan out of its bag. As you can see right here, this is just like a cheap one. I think it was like five or six bucks on eBay. Supposedly it's supposed to be for the Dell R610. See that? Yep, just pushes right in. These things are, can come out pretty easy too. You just push them in, you can pull them out pretty easy. And then this, uh, there's a port right there on the motherboard where this little connector goes. Let me do that. Actually, it might be a better idea if you put the connector in first and then you put the fan in. Here, one second. I'm gonna try and get that. There we go. I got it in there. There's a little clip on the side for when you want to remove the fan. Now let me put the fan in. Push this right in. And there we go. And so now that that is all set, I'm going to put the other CPU in and then I'm going to start the server up. So I'll be right back. All right, I got the other heatsink off. I'm just about to put the other uh, chip in. Same thing, you want to line up the uh, little notches right there with the ones that are on the chip. So I'm going to get that in there. There we go, perfect. Give it a little wiggle, put the cover down, put the retention arm down. I'm going to get my heat sink. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of thermal compound left. Uh, I'm going to get my tube and then I'm going to put some on and I'll be right back. All right, so I uh, removed all the old uh, thermal compound off the heat sink, and I put some, fortunately had just enough thermal compound left. Actually, a little bit more than enough. My tube that was pretty much empty showed me that it wasn't quite empty and put a little bit more than just a little pea. It was more kind of like a beanstalk, I guess you'd say. But I so after I cleaned that up, it's pretty much ready, so I'm just gonna uh, close this thing up and let's start up, make sure it works. Okay, I have my uh, server down into the basement. Uh, pardon any of the noise you may be hearing from the server, other servers rather, or the washing machine. Um, so, I just upgraded the RAM. Um, I'm just about to make sure it works. But I also, I just upgraded uh, my Dell R710 with a better RAID card. So this is the one I pulled out of it, and I'm going to see if this card will work in the Dell R610. Uh, just as a fun thing, because this one uh, has a battery backup, and my Dell R610 does not. And just double checking, it looks like the battery will fit. Yeah, it does fit. So I'm going to see that. I'm going to see. It looks like the cord will be long enough. Um, yeah, I think it'd be a bit long enough. I could probably do it either way, really. Uh, but I'm going to test that. I'm going to try putting it in, and then we'll see. I'll turn it on, we can see together. Okay, so in order to remove the card, I'm going to have to push this blue thing back. It's kind of hard to do with two hands. But I'm going to just slowly wiggle it out with one. i going to push this thing back, and push on the back of the card. And I'll just kind of wiggle it out and you push on this blue thing again and then it just pops right out so I think this is a uh, like the integrated IDRAC 6 or whatever no not IDRAC uh, I don't know I'm not sure of the name but it's just the integrated uh, i6 something I think so let's try the other card let's get that out of the way there we go there push it in on that side there we go just popped right in and now let's put these things in oh, sorry about that 
There we go, that just pops right there. And oh, I see. There we go. Let's get the other one. There we go. Okay. Sorry about the kind of crappy video. It's a little hard to do this with one hand. Okay, I got them both in. I got them both tucked underneath there. So let's see if we get about running this cable. Fits. Uh, doesn't really fit too well. Let's see about maybe taking this. Will this cover come off? No. That just pops right off. Okay, so I just got that off. And this whole assembly just pops up. And I'm just going to rope this cable through here. Like that. And I'll fiddle with it and get it all kind of maybe like that. Just in a circle. There we go, that stays. So let's just try and get this whole assembly back down. Yep, and get those, lock those in, and it's good. Okay, so now we have a, a RAID controller that has a battery backup in the uh, Dell R610. So let's just plug this thing in and see if it works. Let's get the cable. Plug it in. Right. Fans turned on. Uh, where's my cable? PGA. Nope. Power on and see what happens. Yeah, I know they say don't turn it on without the cover. I read the warning. But it'll do alright for a couple minutes. Let's see what happens. The monitor right here. Configuring memory. Now we still should have 16 gigs, and I'm not entirely sure if it'll be happy with that 16 gigs because it's not two sets of three, it's two sets of two. But we'll see what it says. They are matching. Oh, two 2.8 gig quad cores, so it's reading quad cores, 16 gigs of RAM. It's fine with the gigs of RAM. Uh, it shows the RAID card. Uh, LSI 2008. It's not going to find any drives, most likely, because I haven't put that... Yeah, see? So, I'm going to have to connect something up to this thing. But there we go. I installed... Uh, the RAID card that came uh, with my Dell R710 and my Dell R610, and now I have a battery backup. So that was pretty much just an upgrade to my uh, Dell R610. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later.